yesterday, we did a segment on the damage report that was incredibly critical of how Pete Buttigieg was answering questions about his closed door fundraiser policy and his you know, secretive bundler list of donors. And we said he needed to answer for this or change the policy and now, Apparently, he has. The presidential campaign of South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg announced Monday that it would allow members of the news media to cover future private fundraisers and would disclose the names of super donors known as bundlers. Campaign manager Mike Schmull says from the start, Pete has said it's important for every candidate to be open and honest, and his actions have reflected that commitment. So look, when someone does the wrong thing, we criticize them when they change that policy. I believe that they should be commended for doing that, assuming they have actually done it and they don't you know, change back as soon as the cameras are gone. But Jordan, what do you think about Pete Buttigieg actually changing his policy in the face of the criticism that he's received? Um, I, I am in no hurry to congratulate or thank Pete Buttigieg for this because- Are you implying that he might not actually <laughs> follow through? I think Pete Buttigieg is one of the most absolutely blood sucking people in politics. He's like a total corporate leech. He is the most self serving individual in the Democratic race. At a time when more and more people are talking about getting money out of politics, when it's becoming a national bipartisan issue, Pete is working to undo all of that progress on this self aggrandizing crusade. He's the one who has the most billionaire donors. He's the one that's still trying to do the, well, up until like, him getting yelled or just a simple question from a kid with Iowa student action asking him if he would stop his smug curt response saying no going viral that's the time when Pete finally undid it but the reason he started doing it was because he was exposed as to having a bundler that was the city attorney in Chicago that sought to hide mm-hmm. the the video footage of Laquan McDonald getting shot by Chicago police he he was transparent up until that point and in response, it wasn't, hey, maybe we vet our donors a little bit more. It's, we're just gonna go completely dark. Doesn't yeah. matter who we get money from, we're just gonna hide and just be complete, completely obfuscate the process. This isn't a transparent move, it's a self-serving move. And he's trying to save face because that moment of him telling uh, telling a kid no went viral. Yeah, and, and by the way, in no small part, thanks to you spreading that video, because I saw that all over the place in Newsweek and a bunch of different places, and so good work there. Um, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to be encouraging in the right direction. What 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 makes me feel a little bit better about this is that I think that people are on this beat and they're not going to just be like, oh, "Okay, he's good. Let's ignore it." I feel like if he tries to backtrack on this, if he begins to like hey, he has some public fundraisers but then also has closed door, I feel like that will come out. And hopefully the people that have been uncovering so much up until this point will continue doing that great work when it comes to his campaign. Yeah, I hope so. But you know, if you think Pete Buttigieg is a uh, an honest broker in politics, I've got a bridge to sell you uh, because this guy <laughs> is just like completely, he'll do whatever he can uh, to get elected. This it's clearly about power. We've seen time and time again people who have known him throughout his life come out and say like this is just someone who from a, from childhood has been obsessed with uh, power and getting and becoming president. Um, and you know, throughout the course of his life, he's turned a blind eye to moral quandaries, as we've seen with the McKinsey work. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, just to, to, to further his own persona, his connections, his wealth. Uh, I, I do not trust this guy at all, and, and nobody else should as well. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.